Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Carla. Are you home already? Yes, teacher. Nah, I mean, that's nice. That's nice. Housework. Is it a little bit less yeah. pressure? Less pressure now. Yes. Mm. Very, wow. very fresh. Yeah. I mean, but the good thing is that you're about to finish, right? Two more weeks. Excuse me. But you are about to finish, right? Just two more weeks and you finish. Yes, two, two weeks. Hmm. It's on, on November the 30th, right? That you finish. Yes. Nah, it's going to be on uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Sorry. Yes. From, uh, yeah. We are about to finish it as well with this module. That's that's pretty cool. That is really nice. Ah, so you're gonna have more time to relax. <laughs> more or less. <laughs> yes, because just imagine, uh, you're gonna have the whole December, part, part of November, no, 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 November, but exactly one month of December, the whole December, Yes. With no pressure at the at the school, with no classes at night, I will be like for you to rest in a somehow, right? Yes. In a somehow. Yes. Yeah. Just getting ready for the next year. <laughs> Simplemente listándose para el estrés del otro año. <laughs> but you generally change grades. Pero por lo general suele cambiar de grado, ¿verdad? Uh, ¿De acuerdo a los años o siempre se mantiene en el mismo? En el mismo grado, aunque, bueno, el jefe dijo que iba a ser una reestructuración de personal, pero no porque lo, por lo general siempre nos dejan el mismo grado. Mm, ya, yeah, mira, más que porque cuando estuve trabajando en un colegio más o menos así, last time, por lo general cada año solían cambiar orientador. Era grado. Ah, o sea, yo tuve segundo este año, pero y el próximo año probablemente me den segundo otra vez. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así. Uh, my God. Pero es bien tedioso que lo cambien de grado aún. Really? Yes, porque por lo menos ahorita yo estoy haciendo los los lesson plans. Porque los tengo que entregar ahora mismo. Tengo y me faltan un montón todavía. De, son cuatro materias las que yo imparto, entonces me falta la mitad todavía. Para hoy en la noche los tengo que enviar. Y solo de matemáticas son nueve unidades y apenas voy como en la sexta y me falta otra materia. Así que ahí no dormiré. Are you serious, Carla? Desde ayer estoy así. Oh, my God. Así que se apagó la cámara es porque estoy trabajando. <laughs> but, uh, okay, all right. But you, you, don't, you don't generally do it, like, uh, every week? During the, the month, uh, during, you know, like, the year, the school year? Lo que pasa, sí... <laughs> Es que esto no lo piden a inicio de año, pero yo no lo hice en todo el año. O sea, así como que vamos a hacer todo el año en un día. Ajá. O sea, que yo, yo hacía mis, mis lesos plans, pero los de unidad, los planes de unidad no los completé nunca. Y el jefe nos dijo ayer, vaya, ustedes tienen el jueves hasta la medianoche para mandar, porque nosotros tenemos, la institución tiene una acreditación internacional. Entonces, oh. este año nos toca, eh, viene evaluación de la agencia que nos ha acreditado oh. y <ríe> entonces tenemos que entregar todo, todo eso para ver, mantenernos en la categoría de colegio bilingüe. 
Ah, Amanda es cool. That is nice. Pero mucha presión. Yeah, I mean, that requires a lot of pressure too. That requires sí, a mañana. Lot of pressure. Ah, teacher, eso le iba a decir. Mañana me voy a conectar solo como oyente porque tenemos graduación de parvularia y estaremos desde las 4 de la tarde hasta que el cuerpo aguante en la institución. Jesus Christ. Por lo general siempre las hacen en la noche. Sí, en la noche. Todo, todo escuela para padres, graduaciones y todo en la noche para que los papás puedan asistir. Ah, okay, I understand. Ah, yeah, I mean, because most most of them work, right? La mayoría siempre trabajan en everything. Sí, so that's sí, why. Y, y más en el ambiente, el tipo de familias que nosotros tratamos, casi todos son empresarios y entonces ya en el día es difícil que atiendan las actividades yeah, académicas. Exactly, it's very difficult. Oh, so that's why. Yeah, but it requires a lot of pressure, as you said. Ugh. Ah, but two more weeks, two more weeks, and you're out. More weeks, two weeks. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. Okay, so we are going to start. So good evening, everybody. Ah, uh, I mean, we got almost a full house today. That's cool. Let me see. Ah, no, todavía nos faltan cuatro. Pero bueno, it, at least it's something. Um, so good evening, everybody. So we're gonna start with, uh, uh, you know, like a new week. Today we are basically starting week three, and of course we're gonna see a series of uh, contents that are very different in comparison to the prior ones that we were discussing. Uh, until yesterday, that was basically the end of the week number two all right mm, so let's start over so i'm gonna pass the attendance this just to start gabriel esau mm -mm -mm. okay i think he's not there yet guadalupe noemi ah, just Present, okay it is cecilia uh, she's there, but she's sick. Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. All right, good. Jose Moises. Jose, okay. She's not here yet. Judith Maribel. Present. Ah, okay, thank you. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. All right, good. Carla Lorena. Present. All right, Catherine Guadalupe. Catherine Guadalupe. All right, so she's not here. Kevin Ramiro. Kevin Ramiro. Present teacher. Ah, okay, you're there. Maria Elena. Maria Elena, are you there? Okay, so she is not here yet. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Hi, Marilyn, present. Okay, Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, perfect. Mónica Maricela. Mm, okay, she, she gets connected, but nah. Oscar Armando. Now, nah, okay, Oscar, you're going to be as a listener. Yes. Patricia Guadalupe. Okay, I guess just there. Roberto Emilio. Roberto, Roberto. Sí, all right, she's not, uh, he's not here yet. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Mm, okay, good. Santos Cristina. 
hacer mi estar voy en camino cuando lleguen voy a encender la cámara hoy. Ah, ok, ok. And the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. You see Jocelyn here? Oh, yeah, I mean, she's there, but probably she is busy. Now, okay. All right, people, listen up. Uh, I don't know if you have if you have seen the messages in the group. Actually, I was I was busy the whole day today, so that's why I couldn't get uh, that much connected to to WhatsApp messages and everything. Ah, uh, pero hay muchos eh, que apenas llevan el 25% de asistencia, people, All right? No sé si estuvieron viendo el cuadro que enviaron al grupo y hay muchos que sí ya deberían de rondar el 45, si no es que con la clase de ayer el 50% de asistencia. Eh, yo tenía es... duda con eso Ajá. porque porque según lo que ella me explicó es como que un montón de días solo me he estado conectando una hora y realmente no me he estado conectando una hora eso ellos lo va es que ajá porque en, en mi caso yo soy solamente el responsable de darles la clase pero uh -huh. ellos entran y como acá en Zoom hay un récord queda un récord uh -huh. grabado de, de, de lo, la cantidad de minutos que ustedes están conectados entonces uh -huh. ellos simplemente sacan esos números y los plasman ahí entonces pero igual ellos pueden comprobar eso eh, con el desarrollo de los videos Ahí igual la Ajá, porque, va a aparecer. Ajá. porque yo tengo como 36 y fracción y creo que va a falté un día, bueno, ni falté, sino que este, me conecté y fue el día que andaba súper afónica, uh -huh. que me conecté y a la final solo pude estar una hora porque si ya no, no aguantaba estar conectada a clase. Ya de ahí, si sí, hubo otro día que solo estuvo una hora, pero la cosa es que son como seis días, creo que dice que solo he estado conectada una hora a clases y no me recuerdo que hayan sido tantos días que solo he estado una hora. Ah, y el detalle es que a veces las actualizaciones, cuando no se actualiza la aplicación de Zoom, suele dar una infinidad de problemas enormes. Ajá, sometimes... Y se recuerda que yo estuve, tu, tu, o sea, estuve teniendo un montón de problemas con Zoom, entonces... Mío, no. Bueno, no sé, la verdad. Pero sí, o sea, bien raro. O sea, súper, súper raro porque creo que a lo sumo fueron como tres días que solo, solo me conectaba una hora y un día que creo que sí, realmente no me conecté porque no, no pude conectarme. Uh -huh. De lo no, contrario. De hecho, yes. de hecho, voy a preguntar, let me see. Yes, y de hecho voy a preguntar por qué no aparece usted en el pequeño recuadro que aparece eh, que enviaron en el último el último que corresponde al día de mi sí, miércoles creo que es este que no aparece usted no aparece en esa en ese recuadro de minutos uh -huh. y por qué no aparezco ahí por eso mismo le, le digo que voy a preguntar. Uh -huh. a ¿Y ask. ese último recuadro de qué es? Ese es eh, la, la, los minutos contados de una clase. Así uh -huh. es como ellos sacan por clase. Si de ahí a la par es, dice suma de duración y esos son los minutos uh -huh. que, eh, que se están conectados. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, ya, yeah, Mini. Uh -huh. It worries me a lot porque hay muy bajos porcentajes, la verdad. Hay o porcentajes sea, del, 20, del, 20, del 23%. Uh, bueno, es entendible en algunos casos porque hay muchos que solo se conectan un momento y después. No sé si, si es uh -huh. que lo saca la plataforma o ellos se desconectan. Y por eso es que se genera esos, esos, ese porcentaje. Ya, yeah, because it's like, acá solo hay una persona, en este caso eh, es Mario, que tiene el uh -huh. 50%. Right. 
All right, uh, that, that is exactly what everybody should have. Entonces, Bye. Y ahí dice que el miércoles pasado yo no me conecté a clase, dice. Where? ¿Dónde dices? O sea, la, a la, o sea, la que me contestó el mensaje que yo le puse que por favor me dijera por qué yo tengo baja puntuación, me dijo que yo el miércoles pasado no me conecté a clase. Ah, ¿sabe qué debería hacer, Marilyn, en ese caso? Uh -huh. Vayas, váyase a la clase de ese día y mándele una uh -huh. captura. Porque ahí siempre en la clase aparece en display su nombre. Uh -huh. eh, y puede para que puedan corroborar ellos. El detalle está en que a veces también sucede en que eh, nos unimos a la plataforma. Uh -huh. En algunos casos ha pasado que se unen a la plataforma y no se unen con el, las credenciales o el correo, por así decirlo, que se, proveó, se, se dio a la empresa sino más bien uh -huh. con otro. Entonces ahí y esos puntos no se los va a generar porque no está uh -huh. con las credenciales que debió entrar. A veces han sucedido casos en los que sí, los participantes están, pero no están con, con las credenciales que, que dieron a la, a la, a la, a la empresa. Entonces, la del miércoles sería bueno. la semana 2, ¿verdad? That's correct. Y fue la finalización de la semana 1, uh -huh. si no me equivoco. Yo voy a revisar bien esa parte. I'm gonna uh -huh. check that. Que fue porque uh -huh. como, porque se había corrido un día, porque habíamos empezado después, entonces por eso era ese día el último. Ajá, que no, igual que de hecho, uh -huh. dos días se corrieron de hecho. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's correct. Sí, porque usted se incapacitó. That's correct. That's Exactamente. Correct. Right, so... Y creo que ese día fue el que usted regresó, si mal no recuerdo, de incapacidad. No sé si fue mm, ese. Miércoles, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bye. I, I was coming back. Yeah. Exactamente. Y sí estuve en clase. It's true. Por, uh -huh. por eso le digo, con una screenshot, ahí usted va a corroborar que sí estuvo. All right. Bye. All right, okay. perfect. All right, people. So, uh, let's start with the class. Just give me one second. I'm gonna put this out of here. No, okay, as I said, we are going to start a new week, all right? And this night we are going to be talking about something that for you guys is very very like easy to handle we are going to be talking about how to use the simple pass of b and the simple pass of sentences all right that we can put them in affirmative not only using the verb to be, but other verbs in simple past. Okay, so this is like the topic that we are going to be discussing the rest of the class. So I will ask you guys to pay attention to this very closely. And if you have any question, remember, you are free to open up the microphone and ask, all right? Because that's... Uh, the whole class focus about that you can participate the most as you can. So let's start over. What's the most relevant that we have for the class agenda tonight? All right, so we're going to make a short review about what we were discussing yesterday. Okay. Then we are going to introduce the simple past form of the bird to be. You guys are going to provide some examples and I will show you some extra examples I bring, okay? And then we are going to end up in the class with simple past affirmative statements. In which you also are going to provide examples, all right? And we are going to go to work in a couple of activities that we are going to be developing in the manual. So this is like the most relevant 
that we are going to be discussing tonight. So let's start. All right, so before starting with uh, the main topic, okay, before starting with the main topic, I am going to give you a couple of verbs that we are going to need when we go to work in the manual, all right? And we got some verbs in here to practice. I know, guys, that you already have knowledge of a couple of verbs that we're going to see in here. For example, this one, check this out. The pronunciation of this one is pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Do you know what is this? Pick up the phone. Okay, all right. That That's like a, a very, very, very close meaning, Mario. Or in that case, it's like, Answer a call, right? Como usted dice, levantar el teléfono para recibir una llamada en este caso. It will be that like that. Okay. Let's pick up the phone. This is another one that you understand very good, right? The verb understand. This is redundant. All right. Understand. You know what is that about? Then we got the verb explain. That's what I said. Uh, this is vocabulary that you already know, okay? That you have knowledge. Explain. Then we got complain. Complain. What is complain? Did you know this verb, people? Quejarse, queja, queja. Exactly. Very good. Quejarse. That's what it is. Help, that's another one, very easy for you, All right? Help. Okay, let's take a look at another ayuda. one. Okay, very good. Como nombre es ayuda, como verbo, ayudar. All right, good. Okay, okay. Take, take a look at this one, request information. Request information. What is that? Solicitar information. That's correct, Catherine. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that means request information. Okay, so in that case, that's a verb that is joined uh, in an adverb uh, in a verbal phrase, right, with a noun. Okay, cool. Let's move. Get prices. Get prices. What is that? Prices? Yeah, prices mean precios. That's correct, Cristina. Como pedir los precios o obtener los precios. That's correct. Thank you, Carla. Yeah, I mean, that's correct. That's what it means. Okay. Now, let's move. Provide one's information. Provide one's information. What is that? Proporcione su información. Okay, pretty close from that, Oscar. In este caso, proporcionar información sobre algo, right? A alguien. That's what ah, I mean. okay. Very good. Very, 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 very close. Nice. Now, another one. Assist. What is that? Assist. Assistir. Ah, okay. In what situation? Como de ayudar, como de... That's correct. Thank you, Carla. Esta no es de asistir como asistir a una reunión. Casi por lo general no se usa de ese modo, sino más bien atender a alguien, right? asistir a alguien. 
That's what it is. Teacher, me desconecté en este pedacito de calle. Este, provide in, what information? Informa, eh, probable información. Igual, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Cómo se... No, in this case, it's like como proveer información o dar información sobre algo, a alguien. That's what it means. El what? El what? ¿Qué significa? No, en este caso, once hace referencia a alguien. A alguien. Yes. Probable información de alguien. Ah, okay. O proveer brindar. información. Proveer. Proveer. Brindar. 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 Okay, brindar. Yes. Okay, good. We got another one that's pretty easy for you guys. Bye. Right? Bye. You got that one. Call. That's another one very simple for you. Okay. This is another one that is very simple for you. And you got receive. All right. Receive. That's the correct pronunciation of this one. Receive. All right. Recibir. Exactly. That's what it means. Recibir. Receive. Okay. Now, let's jump into what it really matters now, people. The pass of B. Cuando hablamos de pass of B, ¿qué se les viene a la cabeza? Okay. Okay. ¿Qué es lo pass primero? Pass. Que okay. Yes. Pero ¿cuál es el pass of B? ¿Cuál es el pasado de B? Was. Was. Ah, ok. Was. Was. Exactly, Catherine. Thanks. Where. Was and where. Recuerden que el verbo to be, en este caso en pasado, se divide en dos. Was and where. Right? Y algo que quiero que tengan bien presente es, listen people, cuando usamos el pasado del verbo to be y estamos hablando de una situación meramente de pasado, right? Nada de pasado progresivo en all those things o continuo, como ustedes le quieran llamar. Nunca, 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 nunca debemos usar un verbo adicional. How come? Yo no puedo decir I was y luego it, for example. Why not? Porque según la regla, a mí me va a obligar que ese it ya no esté en forma base, sino en I and G. Y entonces ahí ya no hablaríamos de pasado simple, sino más bien de past progressive. I was eating, estaba comiendo. Entonces ya ahí ya nos cambia la estructura. Y ya no es un pasado simple, sino progresivo. So that's why, people, I want you to get in mind that. No ponemos un verbo adicional cuando usamos el verbo to be en pasado. Por lo general, siempre es o un nombre o un adjetivo. A noun or adjective, but never an extra verb. I want you to be clear with that with you people. And you will see a couple of examples that we're going to be you know, like, given with this structure. All right. So, Judith, tell me reading this. The platform of B is... Uh, divided? Divided into was and were. Ah, okay. There you go. And we got a couple of examples over here. Check this one out. Oscar, help me out reading this one. Okay, teacher. I was an um, employee's employee okay. in the in that company. Okay. I was an employee in that company. So in that case, what I'm trying to say, recuerden que si B es ser o estar, what is was and where? Eran o estaban. Eran o estaban. That's correct. Thank you, Mario. So in that case, I say, I was an employee in that company. Ah, yo era empleado de esa compañía, right? That's what I'm literally trying to say there.
Okay, check this one out. This is another one. Jorge, help me a reading. You were in the star yesterday. Okay, thank you, mister. You were in the store yesterday. If you take a look in here, people, how can we divide this thing? Right after was over here, you have an employee. What is this? This is a noun. Esto es considerado un nombre. Employee. What about here? You got where, the form of the verb to be, and then you got in the store. That's another noun, okay? Ahí estamos hablando igual de otro nombre, okay? Si ven acá, no hay ningún verbo adicional. There's no extra verb in here. All right, next, Ruth. Let me ring. He was in the park last week. Okay, thank you. He was in the park last week. So take a look at that one. In there, we don't have any extra verb. The only verb that you can see in there is the verb to be in simple past. Or if you want to call it in its form, was. All right. That's what we got over there. So we're going to move out. Mario, help me out reading this one, please. We were excited about the trip. Trip? trip? How say it? Excited about the trip. Excited about the trip. Okay, there you go. We were excited about the trip. All right, cool. Mientras acá yo menciono un lugar, después del verbo to be, Acá mencionó, all right, another place, y acá un nombre. Check this out. In here, I am mentioning the word excited. What is excited? Gramaticalmente hablando, ¿qué es excited? What is that? Emocionante. Okay, all right, yeah. Translated as emocionado. No, actually, emocionado. Emocionante es exciting, with ing, all right? But excited, in this case, es un adjetivo. Why is it an adjective? Porque está describiendo cómo la persona se siente, okay? So in that case, that's an adjective. Y acá, pues, básicamente es lo que anteriormente les estaba comentando. Que el verbo to be se usa o ya sea con un nombre, all right? O un adjetivo, but never with an extra verb. All right, so this is just a couple of examples. Now, take a look at how we can put this one and divide them in both groups. We're going to do them. Let's start with was. Check out the information that I got about was. It says was is used with I, he, she, it in singular nouns. Estas son los básicamente los pronouns que pueden actuar como un subject para usar was. Okay. Remember, I, he, she, it, and singular nouns. Okay. That's the only one. And then we are going to be doing a series of examples with this. Recuerden que en una estructura normal siempre va el subject, was, and complement. Okay. That's the, the structure. The structure is very simple. Subject, was, complement. That's the structure. Like in this example, check this out. I was a teacher. So in this case, what happened? I got subject, verb to be in, in was, complement. You see? As simple as that. All right, another example that I got 
in there. Carla, help me out reading. He was happy yesterday. Ah, okay. He was happy yesterday, right? That is a past action, right? Something that started in the past and finished in the past. Es algo que pasó, en el, eh, se pasó ayer y pues, quedó ayer mismo, right? It doesn't bring to the present. There you go. Another one. Let me see. Marilyn. Yeah. Read the, the next yeah. example. The third one. She was born. All right, she was born. Listen, for cierto, people, I want I want you to identify the difference between this. Van a encontrar ustedes siempre dos categorías de verbo. I mean, de adjetivos. Listen, adjetivos con ing y adjetivos con ed. Tal es el caso de boring, bored, amazing, amazed, tiring, tired. You see? In this case, Interest, interesting, interested. What is the difference? Alguien me podría decir cuál es la diferencia entre ambas categorías? Do you know them? Alguien ha escuchado algo sobre eso? No. Nope. Nothing about that. Okay. Listen. I will put it this way, because this is not exactly the topic that I had to explain tonight. But I will tell you just for you to take it into account, okay? The only difference is that when you use an adjective with ing, all right, like amazing, like boring, like interesting, siempre tomen en cuenta que es sobre un factor externo que a usted lo hace tener esa emoción. How come? For, uh, for example, you can say the class was amazing. The class was interesting. I'm going to put a series of extra examples for you to understand this thing. Check this out. If I say in here, the class was interesting. Okay. ¿Es la clase un factor externo a ustedes? Yes, of course, right? So that's an external factor. Y lo hace, ¿qué, qué hace a usted? Pues básicamente sentir que pues, la clase en sí es interesante. ¿Ok? Now, todo adjetivo con ING nunca va a describirlo a usted como se siente. Remember that, sino más bien a un factor externo. Right, an external factor. Okay, now on the other hand, adjectives with ed, like bored, like tired, like amazed, esos sí nos describen cómo exactamente nosotros nos sentimos. Es algo externo, right? I mean, interno in this case, that's the opposite, the opposite, right? Those ones are internal factors. For example, I can say, check this out. I was interested in the class. I mean, mientras en la primera decimos la clase estuvo interesante, en la segunda decimos estuve interesado en la clase. You see how it changes a lot, all right? So this is the way how we used both structures, all right? Ahora bien, les voy a poner uno adicional para que 
si todavía no hemos entendido muy bien, con este estoy seguro que sí lo vamos a entender. Check this out. If I say, if I say this, vamos a ponerlo from movies. I can say, let's suppose in here we are watching a movie. Let's pretend that we are watching a movie. But you don't like the movie that we are watching. Pero no les gusta la, que, la película, supongamos que, que estamos viendo. Entonces ustedes pueden decir esto. I am bored. Listen. I am bored because the movie. Vamos a ponerle en pasado mejor. I was. I was, because this is structured, the one that we are practicing. I was bored because the movie was boring. You see? Ahí estamos hablando de un internal factor and an external factor. Right? Ah, estaba aburrido porque la película estaba aburrida. Ah, you see? Those are like the categories of ING and ED adjectives. Okay? That's the way how we work with them. Good. ¿Quedó claro al menos esta parte? Or do you have any question, guys? ¿O tenemos alguna pregunta? Something to ask people? This is something additional, okay? This is not merely uh, what we're discussing right now in the class. This is something additional that I'm just uh, telling you that you can use with the verb to be in simple past. Okay, so if everything is clear, let's continue. <laughs> okay, let me see. Catherine, help me out reading the last example. It was interesting to have a new job. Ah, okay, very good. It was interesting to have a new job, right? And interesting to tener un nuevo trabajo. So in that case, you're talking about something in the past, right? Developing a past action, remember. Something that started in the past and finished in the past. Good, so we got another one in here. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. Maria Elena, can you please help me reading that one? Maria Elena? All right, so apparently she's not there. Uh, Oscar, help me reading, mister. Sí, teacher. Eh, Maria was in the body last week. Okay, there you go. Thank you, mister. Maria, okay. it says, was in the party last week. So basically what we're doing in here, we are talking about a past action or an, a past event, right? This is the way how, what we are doing, okay? And what I have put in here, Si ven acá, pues, ¿qué es lo que hemos hecho? Hemos dado un ejemplo con cada uno de estos pronombres y nombres que podemos usar con was. We got the pronoun I, he, she, it, and a singular noun. Remember, the word Maria, that's a singular noun, okay? So we got them in there. Cool. Until here, people, with the uses of was, do you have any question? Or oh, everything is okay? Is everything okay? Okay, perfect. So, your silence makes me think that everything is I have a question. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Este, ¿por qué no se puede usar, for example, en we, en they? In there. Yeah. Simple, simple, Marilyn. Because okay. was is a representation of singular 
nouns. Singular mm -hmm. nouns. And yeah. where, I mean, and where is a representation of plural nouns. It means that we and they are plurals. Y para decir en una oración que, for example, que ellos estaban, no sé, jugando. ¿Cómo ah, but, that, but that's, let's remember, but that's past progressive, okay? No simple past, past progressive. Uh -huh. They were yeah, playing. Yeah, past progressive. They were playing. Uh -huh. Yeah, in that case, o we use que, Ajá, pero... Eh, Si queremos decir algo en el pasado con, con esos pronombres, ¿cuál se usaría? ¿Cómo así? Si queremos decir algo en pasado con we o con they. Ah, we're about to see that in the next slide. Ya le voy a presentar los ejemplos en la próxima eh, diapositiva. Ahí le voy a poner cada uno. Y luego okay. usted me va a hacer unos. No problem. We're going to be discussing those things. All Yo right, le hago todos los ejercicios que usted quiera. No hay problema. Perfect. That's what I like, man. All right. How do you? Yes, that's correct. Yes, I was sick yesterday. Yes, that's correct because sick is not a verb. It's an adjective. Mm -hmm. That's correct. All right. ¿Cuándo podemos usar was? ¿O con qué? Con un nombre, right? With a noun. Con un nombre de lugar, ya sea de lugar, ya sea de persona. All right, yo puedo decir, I was with Carla yesterday. All right, it means that probably we were sharing. So, Carla, that's, an, that's a noun. Uh, puede mencionar también un lugar. I was in uh, San Salvador last night. So, you see, that's a place. Uh, or you can even mention a country. Like, I was in Guatemala next, uh, I mean, last year by this time. So, in that case, we are mentioning a country. What else? With physical or emotional states, adjectives that represents a physical or emotional state, you can also use was. For example, I was sick, like you were saying, Mario. I was uh, with a headache. So you see, I was with a stomachache. All right? I was with diarrhea, <laughs> if you got that one. <laughs> so you see, I mean, you can uh, you can use was in those situations, all right? That's the way how we use was. Puede usar adjetivos o nouns, extra nouns, pero nunca un verbo adicional que indique una acción diferente. Porque ahí el verbo que predomina es el verbo to be, en su forma ya de was. Okay, that's all right. Good people. So you're saying like, yeah, I mean, you understand everything, but can you give me, can you guys give me one example from your own? Take it personal, right? I am in primera persona, a modo personal, using was. Write it down if you want, and when you finish, just let me know. Turn on the microphone and read it for me. Using was. I was tired last night. I was tired last night. Okay, very good. That's a good example. Thank you, Carla. So, Maria's. Let me know when you finish and you can start reading your examples, okay? Me. Okay. I was tired I was tired yesterday because I went to do exercise at night. Because I went to do exercise at night, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, Marilyn. I mean that's determination, Marilyn. You continue doing it every day? Yeah, every day. Perfect. One hour every day. Really? 
Yeah. That's, that's nice. That's nice. I would like to have that determination, but uh, as soon as I finish classes, I'm like, sleep. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Yeah. I, today, uh, today morning, I was reading some ex some some text messages that you were writing. Uh, last night, the, the group in the group were writing yesterday night. Uh, you know yeah. what? When I finished classes, when I finished the class in here, mm -hmm. I fell asleep in this table for real. And I woke up at and I woke up. Listen, and I woke up at one in the morning in here. And I, I and I just I moved, and I just moved to the bed. <laughs> yeah, was... and today in the morning, and I. I watch the cell phone and I say, what happened? Because in, uh, I had a lot of messages in WhatsApp. And uh, yeah, and, and uh, I don't know, but I think that it was about the the homework, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay. actually, it was about the homework. That actually, at the end mm -hmm. of the class, at the end of the class, I'm going to project to you guys which homework uh, is missing because there are some of you that haven't finished the homework jesus but we're gonna check that later on okay good um somebody else with the example people alguien más sus ejemplos uh, give me one if you want uh i was sleeping in class yeah. <laughs> Look, technically your example is okay, but that is past progressive root. Because so you're using the no you're, verbo, exactly you're using a sleeping. Okay. okay, teacher. Okay. Change it. You can use a noun or adjective. I was born in La Libertad. Huh? I was born in La Libertad. I was born in La Libertad. Born in la libertad. Nací en La Libertad. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that one is okay. Thank you, Mario. Somebody else? Yo tengo una teacher. Ah, okay, mister. Right, first Oscar and then Guadalupe. Okay. I was at the office yesterday. Okay, perfect. Thank you, mister. Okay. Ah, uh, Guadalupe. She was eating ice cream. Mmm. But if you say eating, if you say eating, Guadalupe, that's past progressive. Entonces, tendría que ir con e, e de. No, porque los que presenté anteriormente eran adjetivos y usted me está usando un verbo. Por lo tanto, ese verbo tiene que eh, obligatoriamente ir con e, in, ing. Entonces, ahí ya no sería pasado simple, sino progresivo. En vez de ello, um, usemos un adjetivo que describa. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Try to modify it. Okay. Good. Somebody else? Ahorita voy a intentar. All right. I was in the garden removing the garbage. I was in the garden? Removing. The removing. Garbage. Removing the garbage. Yes. Ah, okay, very good. Now it's okay. Thank you, Ruth. Judith. I was in the medical center last night. Repeat again, Judith. I was in the medical center last night. Okay. Thank you for, for the example and, and sorry about repeating it. Es que me parece escuchar en vez de was, wash. And I was like, what? <laughs> for real, you were in the medical center? You were in the hospital? Or the clinic? 
and the clinic. Ooh. But it was not for, it was not for you. Oh. It was not you the one that that, that was sick. Uh, my sister. Ah, your sister was sick. Oh, Pero, but I more sick in oh, <laughs> yo ahora. You were <laughs> ahora me siento really? ahora soy yo la que estoy un poco uh, enferma. What did she what did she uh, had yesterday? What did she have yesterday? Flu, cough, <laughs> or what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, calentura. Ah, fever. Fever and tos. Uh, cough, cough, cough. Cough. Uh, and right. dolor, and como dolor de cabeza. Headache. But. That wasn't COVID. That was not COVID? Mm, creo que no. <laughs> no, because uh, people says that is uh, the cases are increasing. COVID cases are increasing. So that's that's what people say. You see, being happy, you know, ya no usando mascarilla y ahora de nuevo, man. So, uh, and, and I got a big problem with en, en el partido, mask. En el partido de la final. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. The, no, but, but the final was predictive. Yeah, I mean, they deserve to win. <laughs> exactly. O en la encendida del árbol en San Salvador, me da, was super full. Y en... También el estadio. Exactly. También el estadio, Twitch. Exactly, but that's nothing in compare in comparison to what you did says, man. In los carnavalitos ahora de San Miguel que cada noche celebra, man. That's full of people. Yeah. That's I a know. lot. <laughs> ah, man, that's a cool part. Ah, Catherine, give me an example, Catherine. I was sick the last weekend. Ah, you were sick last weekend. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Jorge. Uh, I was at the stadium on Sunday. Ah, you were at the stadium last Sunday? Su supporting fast or what? Supporting fast, Jorge? No. Okoro? No. <laughs> oh my god, so so <laughs> what were you doing there? <laughs> okay, all right. Sin apoyar a los dos, but I used to okay. And look at Carla. <laughs> Sorry, Carla. Okay, let me see. Uh, Jocelyn, are you there, Jocelyn? Let me see who's people in here. All right, so Jocelyn is not there, probably she's working. Uh, Patricia is still working, I guess. Maria Elena, are you there? Okay, so she's not there either. Uh, I'm not gonna ask Monica because she's with the audio disabled. Uh, Ivania, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Can you give me an example? I was uh, in the Salvador del Mundo yesterday. Ah, okay, good. Yesterday. Okay, all right, good, good. Yeah, yeah, I'm Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Pensé que haciendo otra cosa, man. Y yo así como no, que, ay, el, el encendido del árbol. Porque internet pasó por ahí, entonces, ah. ahí agarró el bus Jesus. y es horrible estar ahí. ¿Really? Why? ¿Es, es cierto que eso es, es de las zonas más horribles en tráfico? Sí, más ahorita con lo, con lo del árbol, hay ventas por todos lados. O sea, ah. hay un olor de comida en todas partes, pero hay un tráfico horrible, tanto de carro como de gente. 
Oh my God, yes. He estado viendo que se supone que están haciendo una especie de estudio y en San Salvador ya no hay espacio para más carros. Horrible, es horrible el tráfico. Ugh, I can't tell. Ay, cuando hay pequeños accidentes, that's even worse. Jesus. Ok, good. Let me see. Who else is missing? Oscar? Sí, teacher. You came an example, Oscar? Eh, ya dije uno, teacher. Ah, yeah, I mean, I was corroborating. That's why I said you gave me one. <laughs> All right. Sí. Good. Se le cayó algo. Okay, now let's continue. Kevin, are you there, Kevin? Present teacher. Ah, okay, Kevin. Uh, could you give me one example using was, Kevin, before moving on? I was, uh, I studied, studied, uh, studied yesterday. Uh -huh. Okay, I was a, a student yesterday. Okay, technically that's okay. All right, thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Okay, now let's move out, people. Let's move with the information. Now, so we were discussing about the uses of was. Now, let's take a look at where. Okay, Ruth, help me out reading that part. Where is used with the uh, you with the in, in plural no. Nouns. Okay, thank you. It says, where is used, listen, where is used with you, we, they, and plural nouns, okay? Plural nouns. For example, Mario. Read, please. Ah. We were interested in the class. Okay, we were interested in the class. You see, we got something personal, right? We're showing an interest for the class. Christina, help me reading. Hello, teacher. I in the city hall. You were in the city hall. Ah, okay. You were in the city hall. Where is city hall, Cristina? Do you know that? You were in the city hall. Okay. All right. ¿Sabe qué significa city hall? Ciudad. Ciudad. No, no sé. No sé. Nah, city hall no, means no sé. alcaldía. City Hall, Alcaldía, okay. That's correct. That's correct, all right? Okay, gracias. A city Hall. Very hall. good. City Let's hall. continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Ta -ta -ta. Catherine, help me a reading, please. They were happy during their marriage. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Very good. They were happy during their marriage. Good. ¿Cómo interpretamos esta oración? Pero felices mientras tuvieron Exactly. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> All right, in quotations, right? They were happy during their marriage, right? Fueron felices durante su matrimonio, right? O mientras estuvieron casados, as you said. Good. If you say, if you if you take a look in here, it's the, it, it follows the same pattern, right? It follows the same structure like was. The only difference is that this one is in plural, all right? We don't use I, we don't use he, she, it, or singular nouns. No, we use you, we use we, and we use they, right, Ruth? Okay, so you see, we got a subject, 
we got the verb to be, in this case, where, and then we got happy. Remember, what is happy? No me, no me traduzcan. <laughs> Grammatically speaking, what is happy? What is happy? <laughs> y todos cargando. <laughs> Un adjetivo, people. Recuerden, estamos describiendo, right? An adjective. That's, that's happy, right? Es un adjetivo. Casi, casi todo aquello que no sea un nombre, que no vean ustedes que es un nombre de lugar, que es un nombre de algo, entonces es un adjetivo, ¿ok? Porque describe. That's what it is. So, they were happy during their marriage. So, you see, subject, verb to be, adjective, and all these people, all these is a complement, ¿ok? That's a complement. Good. Let's move. Ooh. Shake this out. So this is a, a, a new one. Marilyn, help me a reading, please. Marilyn, are you there? Probably she's cooking or something. Let me see. We're going to ask for the help of somebody else. Ivania? Tell me a reading, please. The last one, teacher. Yes, the last one, please. Maria and Marco were angry at the store. Ah, okay. Thank you. Listen up to that one. <laughs> Maria and Marco, I'm watching someone is sleeping. Maria and Marco, where? Listen up. Where? ¿Por qué usamos where? Porque en este caso acá, recuerden, ya estamos hablando de dos personas. So that is plural. All right. That's plural. Maria and Marco were angry at the store. Okay. María y Marco estaban enojados en la tienda. Okay. So this is the way what we got. Okay. This is what we had. Cool. Any question with this, people? Because we're showing up something plural in here. Okay. Something plural. It's like if I got in here. Supongamos que acá tengo un extra. Yo diga. Check this out. Oh. Okay, in here. Check this example out, people. ¿Cuál es el que debo agregar a Cayo? Was or where? Where. Where. where? Where? Why where? Where, teacher, porque es plural. Ah, ok, porque está, voy a men where. mencionando dos, right, personas en este caso. Carla and I, it says two people. So that's plural, exactly. So in this case in here, I am just going to write down or I'm just going to put where, all right. Like this. Carla and I were teachers this year. Okay, good. Now, people, is everything okay up to now here? Are you uh, getting into this? Vamos comprendiendo. Tienen alguna pregunta? Or something? Okay. I guess you don't have any question. All right. 
Let's do the same thing that we were doing with was, okay? Give me one example using where in which you include someone in plural, right? Or some, you can use places, you can use people, right? Or any noun in plural and give me one example, okay? While you're giving me that example, I'm gonna stop sharing this for a moment and I am going to, let me see, I am going to pass the attendance list because it's a little bit late. Mientras me hacen un ejemplo, mientras me hacen un ejemplo, voy a pasar asistencia, okay? Let's do it that way. So let's start. Gabriel Esaú. All right, so he's not here. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Okay, good. Hmm. Iris Cecilia. All right, so. Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. Now, nah, okay, very good. Jose Moises. All right, this is not going to get connected. Judith Maribel. Present. Okay, perfect. Carla Ivania. Present. Okay, nice. Carla Lorena. I'm here. All right, good. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Okay. Kevin Ramiro. Kevin. Are you there, Kevin? No, okay, so he's not there. Maria Elena. Present. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Ah, okay, good. Mario Ernesto. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Monica Maricela. So she is just not get connected. Ah, Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Mm, okay, good. Patricia Guadalupe. All right, so she's there, but she's probably working. Roberto Emilio, he is not here. Ruth Guadalupe. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Very nice. Jocelyn Estefan. Okay, so, but she's there, my brother. She's working. Okay, cool. Do you have the examples, people? Tenemos los ejemplos? Okay. Hmm. Read. Mm -hmm. We were worried during the storm. Ah, okay. Thank you, Carla. We were worried during the storm. Which storm? What was the name of the last storm that, that passed by here that it was difficult? Julia. Oh, Julia's storm. Creí que me iba a llevar el techo de la casa, man. With me included. Okay, good. Thank you, Carla. All right, somebody else? Okay, Patty, no problem. I know you're working. 
Ajá, aparte de Carla, alguien más enciende su micrófono y le dame la oración. Ok, Miss. Uh, the students were late for class. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Ruth. Oscar, do you yes, have teacher. your example? Yeah. All right. They were, they were good for I am for many teachers. Repeat again, please. They were good for I am for many years. Ellos eran buenos amigos por muchos años. Está bien. But repeat, but yeah, yeah, but I mean, what you're saying in Spanish is okay. But could you please repeat that in English? I don't have it that they, they, Okay. They were good friends for many years. Ah, es que, el, el, disculpe, es que le entendía como Brian. And it's friends, right? Friends, ajá. Friends. Yo, Friar. Friends. <laughs> exactly, that's friends. Friends. Okay, very good. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. And I was like, ah, why Brian? And I was misunderstanding. Sorry. Uh, all right, let's continue. Somebody else? Uh, they were at the beach soccer event yesterday. <laughs> Repeat again. They were at the beach soccer event yesterday. Ah, at the beach soccer. Ellos estaban en el evento de fútbol playa ayer. Uh -huh. They were at the beach soccer event, right? Yesterday. Uh -huh. There you go. There you go. Es que escuché play, no sé si estaba mal. Porque siempre le malentiendo, Ruth. I mean, Judith. No sé. Estoy mal. Estoy mal. <ríe> All right, no problem, Judith. Ok, that's ok. Ruth. Like, look, she's, she's gossiping and sleeping at the same. Cristina. Give me an example, Cristina. Hello, teacher. Hi. We were we were interested inter, inter, uh, in going for a golf. We were interested in going for. It was a golf. For a golf. A golf. Oh, equal. Okay, equally interested. That will be the way. All right. Thank you. Let me see who else is missing. Did you give me your example, Mario? We were we were good students. Ah, okay. <laughs> what a good example. Thank you, Mario. Ah, my God. Let me see. Marilyn, give me yours. Marilyn, are you there? Yeah, pero creo que le contesté en otro momentito. Voy para el baño, ya voy. Ya contesto. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, pregunté en mal momento. All right, Ivania, uh, give me your example, Ivania. Okay, the employees were bored in the meeting. Okay, very good. The employees were bored in the meeting. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Uh, uh, Maria Elena, do you have an example? María Elena. No, okay, so she's not there. No, 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 Jorge. Un ejemplo, mister. Uh, they, they were traveling last, last year. Last year. 
last year. Mm -hmm. Technically is correct, Jorge, but M está usando un verbo que en ese caso es traveling. Por lo tanto, la oración ya no es pasado simple, sino pasado progresivo. Ajá. Vaya, mire, modifiquémosla en este aspecto. Check this out. This, this is going to be easy for you to get. You got... They, they were, right? They were traveling. Repeat it again. Yes. Okay, repeat it again. They were traveling. They were traveling. No, I mean, que, que, que leja la suya. They were traveling last year. Ah, last year. Okay, look. En este caso, aquí solo modifiquémosle así, mire. They were on a trip last year. Y literalmente estamos sí. hablando de lo mismo. Solo que acá, en vez de travel, que es usar el verbo, usamos el nombre, que en este caso es viaje. Okay. All right, that's completely different. Okay, good. So I'm going to stop sharing this thing. And let's continue, okay? Because we got some pages to cover. All right. This is like just related, okay, with uh, the simple past of B. Remember that. The simple past of B. Now, let's go now to the simple past. Positive statements. Mario, help me reading, please. We use simple past affirmative statement to talk about something that started in the past and finished in the past. All right, something that stated in the past or started in the past in this case and continue and, and, and finish it, basically, in the past. All right. Aquí ya olvidémonos. Ya estoy aquí. Botín. Ya no iba a dar el ejemplo. <laughs> ok, good. All right. <laughs> They were so cute. <laughs> ok, they, no were so, they were so cute. Yeah. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Yo soy sincera, pues sí. Ya, me da eso que... No, the way, but the way you said it, man, that was funny. That's why. I'm not laughing about where you're going <laughs> because the way you said it. All right. Thank you for your example. Listen, acá ya oh, nos vamos a olvidar del uso del verbo to be en pasado. Aquí ya usamos otro verbo que no sea el verbo to be. Ok. Pero ese verbo igual se va a colocar en simple past. Remember, in simple past. For example, all right, check this out. Ivania, help me a reading. I ate pizza yesterday. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you. Recuerden, ¿cuál es la estructura base para este tipo de oraciones? I didn't write it here, but it's pretty simple for you to identify. You got a subject plus verb. In past plus complement. Esta es la estructura base para estas oraciones. All right. This is, this, this is all you need. All right. Es todo lo que necesitamos eh, como patrón para poder seguir este tipo de oraciones. All right. Check this out. These other examples that we got over here. Ruth, help me read. Okay, okay. You worked extra hours last week. Okay, <laughs> what was that, Ruth? ¿Qué fue eso? All right, you worked extra hours last week. Ah, trabajaste horas extras la semana pasada. 
You see, what are we expressing in this case? Something in the past, right? Y aquí estamos hablando de algo pasado, que comenzó en el pasado, terminó en el pasado y ya no tiene relevancia en el presente. That's what it is. Teacher. Yes. ¿Y hay alguna otra manera de identificar como, como, como de una manera más fácil? ¿Cuáles son los verbos que eh, llevan T sound y D sound o solo D sound? No. Uh, you mean in simple past, the pronunciation? Exactly. All right. Listen. Yeah, actually, I have a book. Les voy a mandar un pequeño recuadro. No, y ahorita lo tengo en la otra mesa. Les voy a mandar un pequeño recuadro de un libro en la cual... Ahí está explícito, all right, es explícito esos usos para que más o menos tengamos una idea y los leamos. Me gustaría que este tema hubiese sido como para más de una clase. Lastimosamente creo que solo va a ser eh, una breve introducción. Good to Roman. Si fuera uh, bastante and... importante que fuera exactly. más de una clase. Exactly, exactly. Porque de acá se derivan los irregular verbs, regular verbs, non-action verbs. Exacto. Um, yeah. And the pronunciation, exactly. Uh -huh. eh, in that case... <laughs> okay, in that case, <laughs> tenemos, pues, digamos, eh, en cuanto al pasado simple de los verbos regulares, sencillo en la forma de escritura, porque por lo general solo escribimos ed y ya lo tenemos en pasado, el verbo. Right? A comparación del, del, de los verbos irregulares, que ahí cambia. Como en este caso, el verbo eat. You see, ahí ya tenemos ate, cambia su estructura. Pero en el, en el pasado de los verbos regulares, como en el caso de work, pues solo agregamos ed. Pero pasa un, pasa un suceso, que en la pronunciación ahí no es worked, right? como algunos podrían pensar, sino worked, termina en t. Worked. All right? Entonces, eh, sí, hubiese sido genial tener más clases de esto y poder explicar esa parte. Pero les voy a mandar un cuadro en la cual está explícitamente eh, escrito las terminaciones cuando un verbo termina en voice, voice sound, en voiceless sound, eh, qué tipo de pronunciación opta cuando esté en pasado. Si es con T, like worked, algo que sí eh, tienen que tener claros es, por ejemplo, si un verbo termina en el sonido de K, un sonido de S, en CH, listen up. Los verbos que tengan este sonido, all right, por lo general, esos verbos se les agrega T, la T en sonido, la T en pasado. ¿Cómo así? Por ejemplo, si dicen work, en pasado worked, worked, no sería worked, sino el sonido de la T, worked. Si tenemos wash, wash, right, acá no es washed, es washed, with T, washed, right. Y si termina en CH, like watch, right? Same thing. No sería watch, sino watched with T, watched, right? So those are like the, the, the things that appear in there, right? And I'm going to send that to you as, as soon as I finish the class, okay? Just for you to have an idea about the pronunciation of those ones. Okay, good. So let's continue with this. All right, so we got another example sentence in here. Judith, help me reading. He went to school today. Okay, thank you. And we got another one, Cristina. Hello, teacher. Hi. He played. He played. Play, uh, he played. He played. En, 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 en ese caso, en ese caso, 
la E no se, la última E no se pronuncia. Solo el sonido de la D. She play? Played. Played. Ok. Right. She play tennis and hold uh, a, 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 an hour ago. All right. Yeah, I mean, thank you. Hour, 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 con a, hour. Hour. Yeah, hour. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. So in that case, it says she played tennis an hour ago, right? Ella jugó tennis hace una hora. That's what it means in that case. Si ven ahí, básicamente, eh... Todo lo que transforma la oración en pasado es el verbo, right? En una oración afirmativa, eso es lo que transforma toda la oración en pasado. Remember, the verb. Okay. Okay, good. Any question, guys? No questions? All right. Solo permítanme recordarles, cuando usamos el verbo to be, no usamos un verbo adicional, un verbo de estos, ok? Nothing, nothing about this. Just keep that on mind, people. Okay. All right, Mario, help me reading. This is just a, a couple of extra examples. Mario, are you there, Mario? <laughs> Y meet. Na, na, met. 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 Y met. Y met. His wife six years ago. Ah, okay. Very good. Meet, simple present with double E. Met, simple past with one E. Very good. Carla. Okay. I graduate. From the university. Ah, okay. I grad. I, in this case, you can say with ed. I graduated. I graduated from the university. Graduated. All right. Very good. Ah, next, Ivania. They watched a movie yesterday. Ah, okay. Thank you. Perfect. For her. You went to the bed early. Ah, ok, perfect. Perfect. Por cierto, ¿el pasado de qué verbo es went? Querer. ¿Cuál es, el, go. ¿Cuál es la forma base? Ah, go. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's go. Ok, cool. Catherine. Let me read in this one. She studied, studied? in the library. Studied in the library. Uh, library. Library. Now, okay, very good. Thank you. And we got another one over here. Let me see. Oscar. Tell me a reading, Oscar. Okay, teacher. We made a cake for you. Now, ah, okay, very good. We made a cake for you. All right. Hicimos un pastel para ti. Thank you, thank you. Ruth. Let me reading. <laughs> oh my God, Ruth. The sleep. police. Found some clothes. Repeat again. The police found found some clothes. Uh, clues. Clues. What is clues? Pistas. Pistas. That's what it is. All right. Clues. Pistas.
Okay, cool. All right, so let's move. Let's move. All right, this is something you got in the in the, in the manual. Look, ya este es uno de los ejemplos que tenemos en el manual. All right, this is pretty simple to identify. Uh, Judith, help me out. Help me out reading the first one. I. ¿Cómo se pronuncia el verbo? Okay. I give my account information. All right, I gave my account information, right? Okay, thank you, miss. Thank you. Let me see who can help me out again on this thing. Me. Okay, let's go. Okay. He called yesterday at night. Okay. He called yesterday at night. Thank you. Mario, the next one. The program for when? Vote. Pardon? Ah, the program worked the program work well. Well. Okay, very good. Thank you. And the last one. Mm -hmm. Let me see who can help me out reading the last one. Ivania. Ivania, are you there? Hola, teacher. Well, perdón. <laughs> the last one. Okay, they bought the product last week. Okay, they bought that product last week, right? Ellos compraron ese producto la semana pasada, right? Last week. That's what we got in there. Okay, people, listen up. This is like the end of this presentation. Now, before finishing it in here, do you have any question with this process? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esta estructura? ¿Cómo se usa dijo, Ticha? ¿Ah? Hello. Yes. ¿Cómo se usa dijo, Ticha? Eh, ¿Cómo se usa, usa dijo, Ticha? ¿Se usa qué, Cristina? Ah, yo que te le puse mute a eso. <risa> el, simple, el simple pasado. No, es el, el simple pasado, recuerde que solamente es para Ajá. acciones en pasado que comienzan en el pasado, terminan en el pasado y no hay relevancia en el presente. All right? Si usted dice, I ate pupusas yesterday, pues ya comí ayer. Pues eso fue, inició ayer, terminó ayer y ahora pues ya es otro business. All right? Lo que sí hay okay. que tener en cuenta okay. es el uso de los verbos. Los verbos hay que colocarlos de manera correcta en el pasado. ¿Ok? Debo suponer que todavía okay. tienen, eh, tienen la lista de verbos que les envié, ¿verdad? Hace un par de semanas. Allá, por bien atrás. <ríe> ah, perfect, Judith. Ah, you see, chica, en la edad. Mientras Judith me los presentaba así. La Ruth decía así como, ¡Ah, los perdí. My God. Las, la, la, cara, la otra cara de la moneda. Dice. <ríe> ok, no, but no problem. Ok, now, let's go, people, because we need to work in a couple of exercises in the manual, ok? Let's go to the manuals. I want you to go and open the page 29. Vámonos a la página 29. Ah, specifically to this page, look, in which I am going to explain a couple of things that we're going to be working on in uh, breakout rooms. Vamos a ir a trabajar con esta, all right, con esta página para comenzar. Y acá ustedes tienen una serie de verbos y frases. Listen, verbos y frases. 
in here, ustedes tienen en este pequeño recuadro la palabra customer. What is customer? All right. A customer is a cliente. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you. And company's representative? Compañía que representa. Uh, company's representative. En este caso es al, al pobre agente que le cae la pedrada. Right? <laughs> Por las llamadas que recibe. All right. Ya sea que esté servicio al cliente o en everything. Eh, eh, eh. In this case, a company's representative es una persona de, de una empresa, right? Que comúnmente puede trabajar al servicio al cliente o, o any other situation, ¿ok? Good. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con esta información, people? Listen. Simple. Lo que vamos a hacer es que acá ustedes tienen un vocabulario arriba. Ese vocabulario ustedes me lo van a clasificar. Listen, you are going to classify that vocabulary. ¿Cómo así? En customer me van a escribir el vocabulario que en ese caso ustedes consideran mencionar un customer, un posible customer toda vez que llama. ¿Ok? Y companies representative me van a escribir el vocabulario que ustedes creen que un company representative usa al momento de una llamada. Ok, si dice pick up the phone, ¿en dónde pondrían esa clasificación? ¿Customer o company's representative? Company representative. All right, thank you, Ivania. Yes, a company's representative. ¿Por qué? Porque es el que recibe la llamada, right? Uh, grab the phone, pick up the phone and, and, and receive the call. Good. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a hacer en esta parte. Jenny here. You got two questions. Estas dos preguntas van a ser igual un tanto sencilla para ustedes. Dice, what do customers call for? ¿Para qué llaman los clientes? Aquí una breve explicación. They call for customer service, for example. Para servicio al cliente, right? Para algún reclamo. What was the last call you had about? ¿Cuál fue la última llamada que hiciste? O que tuviste en este caso, right? Si es con relación a servicio al cliente. Y here, si no han tenido bien, si no, así no me lo dejan. En esta parte sí. This one is really important for you guys to, to finish and do it. Listen, it says in the indication, write the sentences with the words provided using pass of B or simple pass. Usando el pasado del B o el pasado simple de los verbos. Ahora bien, tenemos acá. Listen, tenemos I be interested product. ¿Cómo sería la oración? I was interested product. Okay, let me see. I was interested, interested product. Vaya, me van, a, me van a incluir algunas palabritas adicionales. Como por ejemplo... In the product. Estaba interesado en el producto. ¿Ok? Porque si solo lo dejamos algo así entre este producto, es como que mm, todavía le falta, right? Good. ¿Comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Mm. Ah, sí, qué emocionante. Todos dicen, yes, teacher. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna stop sharing here and I'm gonna send you to work in there, right? In the breakout rooms. ¿Podrían confirmarme, por favor, quiénes son los que estamos activos? Para así enviarlos a trabajar, please. Bien. Y no enviar a alguien que esté de oyente. A trabajar con alguien que no esté de oyente. Oscar. Only Oscar. Catherine. Can you participate? Yes. All right. Jorge can participate. Jocelyn no participaría. No Patricia, no María Elena. María Elena, can you participate? You cannot do it, uh, Jorge? Okay. Good. So neither María Elena. Ivania, can you participate? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Give me one second. There are a lot of people that says no. Uh, I'm going to say just like this. Give me one second, people. I'm just finishing putting this up. Should we do this? They grab them. Okay, open up the breakout rooms, people, and let's go to work, please. I need to see where to send these people, extra people that are facing. Number three. Number three. No creo que sí. Mario, ¿qué le pasó con su cámara? <ríe> Ahora sí. Estaba poniendo un fondo de Navidad oscura, dice. <ríe> so, Mario, what's up with your tooth? Is everything okay? Uh, sí. Igual. Jesus Christ, ¿todavía doliéndole? Mm, ya menos, ya hoy, me, hoy ya, ya no me dolió. No. Yes, a mí las que me mataban el dolor, como les mencionaba anteriormente, son unas que se llaman, unas medicinas, bueno, pastillas que se llaman Anadent. Esas, esas eran las únicas que me lo controlaban. Ah, sí son buenas, pero... Eh, ayer, ayer, ayer a la hora de la cosa estaba bien mal porque no me hizo la pastilla que me han dado no me hizo me la tomé, había tomado como a las seis y media y me quitó el dolor pero que a la hora de la clase me empezó a doler otra vez ah. ayer no me, no sí. me hizo anda bien pero ya hoy, ya hoy durante el día ya no me dolió ah, no, that's cool, pero siento una cool, sensación man. así bien yes ah Sorry, man. All right, let's continue. En la oración dos. Okay, teacher. Este, ¿verdad que puede compartir usted la pantalla de la primera parte y dejarla puesta acá? Vea, no se puede. A ver. Dijimos, no, a ver si se puede. Sí, es que, es que ella está de su celular y yo también estoy desde mi celular. Ah, ok. Give me one second. This part? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. No sé si se puede hacer eso. Es que creo que si se, si se sale, se, se cerraría la, lo de la pantalla. Déjeme investigo eso. Let me see, let me see, let me see. There's, there's a reconnection. Gestures, breakout rooms. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. 
Creo que para donde yo vaya se me va a ir la pantalla. Ah. Yes, that's the thing. Me voy a preparar que voy a tomar captura de pantalla. Entonces. Ah, ok. Ajá. Uy, no sé si va a querer captura Uy. de pantalla de lo otro también. Sí, pero lo quitó antes, quiere tomar captura de pantalla. Aquí. Sorry. A usted le toma captura de pantalla. Con esas cosas. No me haga meme. No, no puedo hacer esa cosa, no se preocupe. Si pudiera lo hiciera, dice. No, tampoco. Ok. Bye. Ok, let's go down then. Okay. Let's focus on this one. ¿Y las instrucciones de la primera parte cuál eran? This one. Pues básicamente clasificar esta, este vocabulario y pon, colocarlo. Mi vocabulario es el que usa el customer y qué vocabulario un company's representative. Ah, okay. All right, that's all you gotta do there. And in here, pues básicamente usar la forma correcta del verbo subir donde se requiere. Ok. Do you have any screenshot already for this one? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so. yeah. Perfect. All right. Let's continue. Thank you. You're welcome. En contexto es extra. Tenemos que contestar eso. What do customer call? ¿Por qué llama al cliente? ¿Por qué llama al cliente? Ajá. Porque quiere reclamar. Ah. Sí, era ley. Ajá. Eh. Por algún reclamo se puede. Poner. Ajá, necesit necesita hacer un reclamo. Uh -huh. Pero ese es cuando, digamos, ya ha habido una compra, ya sea de un servicio, de un producto, va. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dice, digamos que en esta pregunta es como abierta, por así decirlo. Yes. O sea, como decir, ¿por qué situaciones llama el cliente? That's correct. Ah, ok. Entonces podemos poner como diferentes situaciones. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces podemos poner por algún reclamo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Refón. Ah, Eso es por lo famoso reembolso, va que por alguna. Ajá, por ah, también. That's correct. Reclamo de reembolso le ponemos. Can be possible. Sí. Esto se resuelve a veces con monetario o con alguna rebaja y devolución, ¿va? Uh -huh. Para un próximo servicio o producto. That's correct. Vaya. Solo uno ponemos. Yeah, you can put only one. Okay. La dos es por cuál fue la última llamada. Uh -huh. Este, usted ha hecho algunas recientemente. Eh... No, fíjese, bueno, yo no, no trato con clientes, pero podemos inventar una. No, usted como cliente creo que tendría que ser. Ah. Ajá. Sí. 
sí, tengo, eh, bueno, hice una hace poco acerca de un... sobre una institución financiera. Uh -huh. Me vendió un porcentaje y cuando, digamos, facturó, era otra, otra tasa de interés. ¿va? Uh -huh. Entonces, como se, se podría hacer como... No sé si hay que poner en pasado el verbo. ¿Por qué está preguntando en pasado? No sé si podemos... Eh, porque ahí sería I provide... Proverba. Ajá, yo... Brindé. ¿Cómo podemos usar teacher para utilizar was en la respuesta acá? No, ahí no van a utilizar was. No, así está bueno. Si, si están hablando de que proveyeron inform información, eh, el verbo es proveer, en este caso provide, solo que hay una modificación. En ese caso Ajá. sería I provided, con, solo les, le pondrían una D al verbo para hacerlo pasado. Ajá. Um, okay, I provided estamos, information okay. about the product. Exactly. Así. ¿Ah, exactly. Proveí información sobre el producto. I provided information That's about correct. the product. Okay. Y la primera está bien así, dicho. The customer este. called to make a purchase. Ah, oh, yeah, that's okay. Sí. That's okay, okay, right. Let, now let's go ah. to the next one. Okay. Gracias. Perfect. Seguimos. Sí, um, esta es la otra. Le tomo captura, Cali. No, no, no. A ver, se lo voy a cambiar. Porque después se le ocurre a los teachers no. preguntar y uno no tiene. No, no, no hizo nada en, en el grupo. Ah, Por bueno. Se sí, sí, sí. Es, que, que es, cabal, es que yo sí hago con los alumnos. Cuando los veo que no están trabajando, les pregunto para que los demás se den cuenta que no trabajaron. Yo no lo hago con esa intención, ¿verdad? Sino porque ya no tengo más recursos a quien recurrir. <ríe> Yo sí, cuando veo que los alumnos están platicando, les pregunto para que les dé pena que no saben. <ríe> no, sí. en, la, en la academia que trabajo eh, durante el día, sí, eso hago también. ¿Verdad? Ah, sí, es que, es que hay, hay unos que son muy haraganes. No, es correcto. Lo que callan los teachers ahorita yo, escuchándola. <ríe> Ajá. las técnicas para que trabajen los alumnos ya yeah, me este hoy era así me... si de ahí, eh... hoy me dijo un ¿Sí? estudiante hoy me dijo un estudiante ay me dice ya me voy a ir me dice porque usted mucho me está preguntando en esta clase me dice y si yo ay. me voy y si yo me voy me dice este lo van a regañar. Yo, váyase. <risa> hasta que le vaya la puerta. bien. Y hasta le abrí la puerta. That's ok. Bye, bye. No sé. bye. <risa> pues sí. <risa> Pero, bueno. Lo, eso es lo malo de los grandes. Yo por eso prefiero a los chiquitos. Porque a los chiquitos uno les dice y les dice. Y son sí, más obedientes. Sí, a los grandes. Sí, es un poquito más complicado tratar con adolescentes. Sí, aunque yo ten, tenía... Aún hay un caso de un chamuquito. Siempre, siempre. There's always one. Sí. Ay, sí. God. No, la otra decía. Did you finish? Because we're about to go. Okay, sería en el próximo, sería car. Eso ya es lo último que están haciendo, people. Yes. Ah, okay. Ah. Perfect. Eso ya está. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. 
was read the police size. Pero, ajá, pero no tiene que ser el eje seguido. The police ajá, no. read. Y usted está en el trabajo. Yo vivo en el trabajo. En serio, chispa. ¿A qué hora sale? Es porque yo trabajo mucho, soy bien aplicada. Bárbaro. Soy bien eficiente. O sea, me dice, duermo trabajando. Dice que <ríe> la cambiaron para dormir en el trabajo porque llegaba muy tarde, así que le, dije, le dijeron, va, mire, así ya no va a llegar tarde. E igual siempre se despierta tarde, dice. Gracias. Inicia a las 8, dice, se levanta a las 7.59. Ay, qué gala. No, no, no. No, I mean, working, working from home, it, it, it is like that. When I, when I was working from home, cuando estaba trabajando en un, en un call center al inicio de la pandemia, bueno, a mediados de pandemia, ahí estaba working en el call center, solía hacer eso. Mi horario de entrar era a las seis y media, a las seis veinticinco, donde me iba despertando. Ay, usted es el mal ejemplo. Usted es el mal ejemplo. Ah, pues, si va a reír de policías. Teacher, ahí solamente solo de, sería de agregarle el was. Number two. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Number three. Two, one, no, 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 no. Ahí ya no es de, de was porque tienen ah. un verbo, tienen read. She read. Ah, pues she, she read. read. She read, she read, the she Polish. read. She read. Exactly. Ah, cuando lleva el verbo. Es pero... Ah, sí, sí. Ah, pues sí, she read. The policy. Mm. Mm. Pero en esta que también llevaba el, el, el comprar. Ah, entonces ahí igual, lo mismo. You both, que es el pasado de bailo, tiene el último ejemplo Ajá. del simple pass. You bought the item on December. You, uh, on December. Ah, no, no, espérame. Ah, pues, in, in December. In, in December. In December. Ajá, in. Uh -huh. ah. en la dos. En vez de where sería about. Exactly. Sí, es que do, solo donde tiene eh, B, ah. como en la número uno, es donde van a usar was o where. Ah, ok. okay. Atendiendo okay. esa regla. Ah. Ajá. Exactly. Ah. Por ejemplo, en la número seis. Si ven en la número seis, tiene un B abajo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Ajá. Okay. Es correcto. Entonces, aquí sería... Teacher, you finish? Eh, no, tengo una consulta. ¿Verdad que como en esa donde donde dice ya le... vamos a ordenar, digamos, la tercera? Ya le di yo. Este, ahí, ese verbo sería uno de los que no cambia, de que en su forma de presente pasado es la misma. Read. De read. Ajá. Es correcto, Ajá. lo único que entonces, cambia es la pronunciación. Vea, entonces ahí lo podríamos dejar de esa manera, pero también podría, se podría, este, was, no. No, no. No, was solo, solo, was solo se va a colocar, o where se va a colocar nada más donde tenga, que en vez de read tuviese be, como en la ah, número sí. uno y en la número seis. Entonces uh -huh. ahí quedaría casi que igual. Eh, exacto. Okay. 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 No creo que que no cansemos a leer. Dicho lo vamos a leer ahorita o mañana. No, tomorrow. Sí, verdad. Okay. Yes. Ah, pues. Ya decía sí. yo que era muy injusto que no estuviera tanto tiempo. Depelando. Debe. Yo tengo no, mucho no, trabajo. No, no, no.
We're just gonna... Ya de viernes a sábado puede ser, Tiche, pero ya. Sí, exacto. No, no. Sí, 10.40 vamos a salir mañana. No sea grosero. Le tomo captura, Carla. Sí, ya, gracias. Ok, good. So let's close out the breakdown rules because I think, yeah, man, it's time, ok? See you in the main section. Ok, thank you. All right, your classmate hasn't shown up yet. Where are they? O ya se desconectaron, o ya se fueron, o todavía están trabajando en los, los ejercicios. Which one will be the real one? No, nah, ya viene. Y yo dije, no, ya se desconectaron. De una. Casi, Tich. Casi, casi. My God, Carla. Un minuto right. más y nos desconectamos. All right. Okay, people, did you finish? Veo unas cabezas haciéndole así, otras haciéndole así, otras así como que no, ni por cerca. Now, listen, people. Since we basically, let me see, what time is it? 10.09. Oh, oh, it's a little bit late now. What are we going to do? Listen. Since basically you got them all porque terminaron, ¿cierto? You finished everything. All right. Apparently, we are going to, let me see. I need to check something. Ah, ya, yeah, me das cool. Mañana vamos a ver las formas negativas de los pasados. Así que mañana vamos a tener una continuación entonces sobre este tema. Así que it's going to be like easy, super easy for us, right? Just to check out what we did today, right? And continue tomorrow, all right, with the rest. Así vamos a hacer entonces. Mañana vamos a revisarlos porque tenemos una continuación de oraciones afirmativas a negativas, okay? So we're gonna leave it like that. So people, so I'm gonna pass the attendance list because it's late for you. Gabriel Esaú, he didn't get connected today. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Okay, perfect. It is Cecilia, which is not here. Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Moises, no here. Judith Maribel. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, good. Carla Ivania. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, good. Carla Lorena. Present. Present. Okay, perfect. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. All right. Kevin Ramiro. He left. Maria Elena. All right, she left. Marilyn Alejandra. Uy, Marilyn got disconnected. Mario Ernesto. Present. No, okay. Good. Let me see. Monica Maricela. All right, so she left. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Uh, by the way, uh, Catherine, I haven't had any feedback with you, right? Mm, yes. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we, we're going to have it tonight. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Patricia Guadalupe. Uh, she is a listener. Roberto Emilio, he didn't connect. Ruth Guadalupe. 
Present teacher. Okay, good. Let me see, let me see. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, cool. And the last Present. one, Jocelyn Stephanie, which is not here. All right, actually, she's here, but she's working. All right. Thank you, people, for having connected to this class and see you tomorrow, okay? Recuerden los que me deben tarea, please, termínenmela. Ya voy a avisar al grupo también. Bye-bye, people. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm going to put in the waiting room this person and this another one. Two, 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 and a button. Okay, good, Catherine. So, si recuerda, básicamente, eh, este eh, par de minutos es básicamente para aclarar cualquier dificultad o cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación ya sea a esta clase o las clases anteriores que hemos tenido. All right, so, I don't know, Catherine, if you have any question with those things. Realmente no. <laughs> Ahorita no tengo dudas ni preguntas. Nada. All right, so you have been understanding everything? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, what about with the homework? ¿Cómo vamos con las tareas? Ah, ayer terminé la unidad 2 y en la noche me acordé que había un meeting, entonces también lo hice. Cuando empezaron a preguntar de que del problema que se estaba dando con esa tarea. Ah. Pero ya ya la terminé. Ah, you have already finished that one? Sí, ya. Yeah. Okay, solo permítame un reviso. Just to see que cuánto tengo acá con respecto a usted. Give me one second. No, I mean, I'm showing up. Catherine Ray. Mm -hmm. Catherine Guadalupe. Oh, okay, perfect. I am in 100% in everything. That's cool. Sí, ah, ya yo voy bien, entendiendo. Bien, muy bien. Sí, tenemos el 100%. Ahí estamos más que bien, Catherine, entonces. Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. I really love that. All right. Entonces, si no hay nada más que agregar, eh, la dejo descansar, ¿ok? Y nos vemos mañana. Ok, muchas gracias. Hasta ok, mañana. Catherine. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. All right.